What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to beat tight pressure defense. Let's get started. All right, guys, well, like I said, today's video is all about how to beat tight pressure defense. So make sure you pay close attention to everything that I'm talking about, including the very small details that's gonna allow you to beat pressure defense in the game of basketball. All right, so let's just start off right now. I got my man Buddy out here. Buddy's my defender, okay? So now, if you're playing against tight pressure defense, that obviously means that the defender thinks you have a weakness in your game, whether it be your handle, your ability to create something for your teammates, they're trying to take advantage of that weakness. So they're gonna try to get up into you, pressure, make you force a turn, or make you dribble the ball off your foot, throw the ball away. They're trying to create a turnover with that pressure defense. All right, but you have to be strong, you have to be tough, smart with your decision making and be patient. All right, because if you're speeding up, so if I'm playing against Buddy here and he's pressuring into me and I just start going too fast and I'm out of control, he's done what he's tried to do. He's forced me out of my comfort zone and I've now made a bad play, whether I've turned the ball over, I've dribbled the ball off my foot, or he's just stolen the ball from me because he's made me uncomfortable. That's what a, a defender's trying to do anytime they're pressuring up into you and trying to cause that type of play. So if I've got Buddy here in front of me, the first thing that I should be thinking about is if a defender comes at you, you want to try to go by them. You don't want to dance with them, meaning you don't want to stand out here and start doing all your dribble moves against tight pressure defense. Because if you do that, they're just going to continue to eat you up, take away your space, and get into you to cause a turnover. So if I'm in this position here and I'm feeling this tight pressure defense, all I want to try to do is just give like a simple jab move just to move the defender. Now I don't want to put the ball out in front of me. I want to protect that basketball and now I want to get into my jab to get him to shift just enough for me to blow by him, right? So before I back up away from him, get away and try to make a different play, pass the ball out, take your time, be patient, be strong with the basketball, make the right decision and attack this defender. So you're trying to blow by them with patience. So my de defender again is right in front of me. I'm protecting the basketball, I'm strong, I'm being patient even though they're pressuring up into me. I give them a quick little jab move to shift their weight in their body, boom. And now I'm attacking the opposite way to blow by them to get to the basket. All right, I'll show you what that looks like. Very simple, in full speed, so you can actually practice it the next time you're facing pressure defense. Let me show you that and we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about how you can beat tight pressure defense. All right, so the first thing we just talked about was being patient and trying to blow by the defender who's pressuring into you, making the right decision, not getting out of control and speeding up, doing what the defense wants you to do. So now what you want to do is try to create enough space that you can re-attack. So we're going to use an escape dribble to create enough space to then go back at the defender to use a move to then get to the basket. So if I'm here in this position, and I'm trying to use my escape dribbles. I'm gonna be here protecting the basketball and now I wanna use two quick escape dribbles to back up to create space to then re-attack. So if I'm here, I wanna plant that ball and I wanna push back. So I wanna push here, one, two, that's gonna allow me to create enough space because if a defender now comes all the way back up with you, you've created enough room to now re-attack and get to the basket. If they stay back, you've created enough space to go at them full speed and get by them with a the blow by move. Now, when you go back into attack and against that defender, you don't want to use too many dribbles, right? Because we're trying to attack quickly before the rest of the defense can help and recover. Okay, so we want to use these escape dribbles. Boom, we want to push back, 
One, two, now we've created the space so when we go back at them, use whatever move you can, but don't use any more than two dribbles when you reattack. So if I'm going back at them, I wanna give them just a simple maybe in and out and go by them, a crossover move, maybe a double crossover, but don't use any more than a double combo move to get by that defender. Okay, so you're gonna see that in full speed. We're working on now protecting the basketball, creating space to a reattack to get by the defender, to get to the rim and score, okay? So if you're patient enough and strong enough with the basketball and smart enough with the basketball, you'll be able to make a play like this where you create the space you need to then re-attack the defender in full speed in order to get by them to get to the basket or to make a play for another teammate of yours, all right? So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in full speed. Here it is, check it out right now. All right, Hoopers, well, there you go. There's a couple of tips to help you beat tight pressure defense. The most important things to think about when you're playing against that type of defense is to stay smart, stay strong, and to be patient when you're attacking them. All right, now, most importantly, the biggest thing that you should do in today's video is to click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. And after you've done that, click the like button of this video and also leave a comment so you can let us know what you think about the video and anything else that you may want to see or may want help with down the road in the future as we love to help you take your game to the next level. So make sure you click that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. Now, until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, get out there, work on playing against high pressure defense ask your friend to test you ask the teammate to test you so when you do get into that game situation and you see this get in attack it make the right play and the right decision to help your team and you be more successful so until i see you again next time hoopers remember to always keep hooping see you soon